So I, when I took this uh, opportunity on, it was not, I know I, I'm always positive in text and I always, mm. I'm always like, yeah, I'll do it. There was a part of me that's like, holy shit. <laughs> yeah. Because it's not so easy for me to talk about this. It's out of your comfort zone. At all. Absolutely. I mean, you're on the screen all the time and this is so different. For sure. That's make believe and that's <laughs> art. And that's, you know, for me, it's work and art. This is like deeply personal and death is something I still have this, it's this conundrum in my, in my, in my experience and in my life. I don't understand it. I don't like it. I don't like the idea of loss at all. I can't stand the fact that like one day I'm going to have to do this for my mother or my <sighs> This is where my head goes hmm. is that it's going to be a wonderful day when I can get over the, the death of my grandmother, Holy. But my mother and my parents are in their 70s. It's going to be fucking devastating, you know? And then I have other family members. So it's like, it just sucks, mm -hmm. Ferrugio, because there's no getting around it. You have to deal with it one day. And it it's it it's gonna suck. It's gonna suck. But I think one thing that you already apply with your grandmother that I'm sure you're already doing with your parents is as much as as sad as this moment is right now, a lot of people a lot of people don't think like that. And it could be a double edged sword because you could get really into it, like it's like we all do. But you're applying that idea still in such a positive way that you're 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 not going to take things. You don't take things for granted. No, I take not and one minute. And that is such a that is such a massive deal. And grant when it comes, you're going to figure it out. But I'll be on this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have the. Hopefully, it's not for a long, long time. Yeah, yeah. No, long, long time, long, long time.